Assalamu alaikum dear students. In the previous video we have started the revision of third unit HCF and LCM. Now in this video we will continue that revision. In the previous video we have seen what are the prime numbers, co-prime numbers, what are the twin prime numbers. Right? Now let's see how to factorize a given number into its prime factors. Okay? How to factorize a given number into its prime factors. Okay? So let's suppose one number 24 is given. Then how to factorize it into its prime factor. So first method is the vertical arrangement. We can do it by two methods by using the vertical arrangement or by horizontal arrangement. So first see the vertical arrangement. So number 24 is given. Then 24 is divisible by 2. So we will divide it by 2. So 2 12s are, 2 12s are 24. So 12 is again divisible by 2. So we will write 2 here. Okay. Then 2 6 are 12. Okay. Now we get 6. 6 is again divisible by 2. So 6 is again divisible by 2. Okay. So we will write 2 here. So 2 3 2 3 is a 6. So we get 3. Now we will see 3 is divisible by 3 itself. 3 is a prime number which is divisible by 3 itself. So 3 1s are 3. So we will continue this uh, process until we get 1. Okay, so prime factors of 24 are 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. Okay, prime factors of 24 are 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. Okay, so this was the vertical arrangement. First of all, we will write 24. Then we will uh, check by which number it is divisible. So it is divisible by 2. Okay, on the same way, we will continue this process until we get the 1 at the last. Okay, so this was the vertical arrangement method. Now let's see horizontal arrangement. We will write 24 as 2 into 12. Okay, now 2 will remain as it is. 12 can be written as this 12 can be written as 2 into 6. Okay, this 2 is prime number, so this will remain as it is, and this 6 we will write it as. 2 into 3 okay so we will continue this process until we get the prime numbers all prime numbers okay so the factors or the prime factors of this 24 are 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 okay so this was the horizontal arrangement okay let's see one more example 64 64 yes 64 is divisible by the smallest prime number that is 2. So 2 3's are 6 and 2 2's are 4. We get 32. Now we will check by which number this 32 is divisible. So yes, it is divisible by 2. Right. So we will again divide this 32 by 2 and we will get 2 1's are 2 and 2 6 are 12. Now we get 16 which is again divisible by 2. Okay, so 2 8s are 16. So now we get 8, which is again divisible by 2. Okay, so 2 4s are 8, which is again divisible by 2. 2 2s are 4, which is again divisible by 2 itself. Then 2 1s are 2. So we will continue this process until we get 1. So the prime factors of 64 are 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 times 2 okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 times 2 so these are the prime factors of 64 okay hope you have understood this concept now we will see what are the gcd or hcf the full form of gcd is greatest common divisor greatest common divisor and the HCF is highest common factor. Both GCD and HCF are one, one and the same thing. And uh, let's suppose what are these. If two numbers are given to you, suppose 12 and 18. Suppose 12 and 18, 18 are any two numbers given to you. And if we take the factors of 12, then the factors of 12 are, yes, it is divisible by 1. It is divisible by 2 also. It is divisible by 3. 
it is divisible by 4 it is divisible by 6 uh, then it is uh, divisible by uh, 12 then 1 2 3 4 6 12 are the factors of 12 now we take uh, we will see what are the factors of 18 yes 18 is divisible by 1 it is divisible by 2 it is divisible by 3 it is also divisible by 6 then 7 8 it is divisible by 9 also then it is divisible by 18 so 1 2 3 6 9 18 are the factors of 18 now we will see what are the common factors in both of these so 1 is common in both 2 is also common 3 is also common 6 is also common in both so we will see what is the greatest common factor or the highest common factor so yes here 6 is the highest common factor in both of these so it means that 6 is the highest common factor of 12 or 12 and 18 or 6 is the hcf of 12 and 18 6 is the hcf of 12 and 18 now we will see how to find the hcf okay what is the method of finding the hcf so here also there are the two methods of finding the hcf of a given number first one is the vertical method and the second one is the horizontal method so let's see first of all vertical method of finding the hcf okay so we will find the hcf of 12 and 18 so first of all we will see the vertical method 12 and 18 so by which number these both are divisible yes the smallest number smallest prime number by which these are divisible is 2 so we will divide both of these by 2 so 2 6 are 12 and 2 9 are 18 so we get 6 and 9 so these both 6 and 9 are divisible by 3 so we will write 3 here 3 2's are 6 and 3 3's are 9 okay now these two numbers are not divisible by a common one number any common one number okay so here the hcf of 12 and 18 we get is this 2 into 3 2 into 3 equal to 6 that is the hcf of 12 and 18 so in this way we will calculate the hcf or it is also, uh, also called as the GCD of 12 and 18. Okay. Now, the another method of finding the HCF is the word, uh, horizontal method. Let's see. We will take the factors of 12 and 18. Okay. 12. 12, we can write it as 2 into 6. That is 2 into 6 can be written as 2 into 3. So, these are the factors of 12. In the same way, we will write the factors of 18. That is 2 into 9. Where this 9 can be written as 3 into 3. 2 into 3 into 3. Now, the common factor in both is here 2 into 3 is common and here also 2 into 3 is common. That is 6 is the HCF of 12 and 18. Hope you have understood this method also. Now, let's see what is the LCM of the two given numbers. LCM or the least common multiple of a given number is the smallest number that is divisible by each of the given numbers. Okay, the smallest number, if we take the LCM of the two given numbers, then the smallest number which is divisible by both of the given numbers. Okay, for example, if we take the LCM of 6 and 7, then we have to choose, uh, choose a such number which is divisible by both 6 and 7. If we take the LCM of 8 and 12, then we have to choose such a number which is divisible by both 8 and 12. Okay. In other words, we can uh, say that LCM is the multiple of both the numbers, smallest multiple of both the numbers. For example, let's see. 6 and 7 this 6 and 7 are the two numbers and if we take the multiples of 6 that is see, uh, multiples of 6 are 6 12 18 24 
फोर थर्टी थर्टी सिक्स फोर्टी टू फोर्टी एट फिफ्टी फोर आर द मल्टीपल्स ऑफ सिक्स सिमिलरली द मल्टीपल ऑफ सेवन आर सेवन फोर्टीन ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी एट थर्टी फाइव फोर्टी टू फोर्टी नाइन फिफ्टी सिक्स एंड सो ऑन आर द मल्टीपल्स ऑफ सेवन सो वी विल टेक द कॉमन मल्टीपल्स इन बोथ सिक्स एंड सेवन सो हेयर द कॉमन मल्टीपल इज फोर्टी टू फोर्टी टू इज कॉमन इन बोथ इस हेयर इज ऑल्सो फोर्टी टू and here is also 42 we have to take the smallest multiple that is common in both the numbers okay so the smallest common multiple is 42 so 42 is the lcm of 6 and 7 that means that if we take the multiples of given numbers then the smallest multiple in the list is called as the lcm of the given numbers now let's see how to find the lcm of the two given numbers okay Suppose two numbers twelve and eighteen are given to you. Twelve and eighteen are the two numbers given to you, and we have to find out the LCM of twelve and eighteen. Then uh, we will solve it like this. These are the twelve and eighteen. Then we will take by which number? This is these both are divisible. So these both are divisible by two. So two six are twelve. And two nines are eighteen. Now we get six and nine, which both six and nine are divisible by three. So we will write three here. Then three twos are six, and three threes are nine. So here is the number we have uh, already seen that this part two into three is the HCF. And if we multiply this HCF by these two numbers, we get the LCM. Okay, that means that the LCM. Of the given numbers is see here two into three into two into three. That means that this two into three that is the HCF into multiplied by two into three. This side multiplied by this side. See this side gives the LCM of the given numbers. Okay, that is two into three into two into three, and that uh, will become two into three. That is six. Uh, six into two, twelve, and twelve threes are thirty-six. That is the thirty-six is the LCM of twelve and eighteen. Thirty-six is the LCM of twelve and eighteen. Okay. Now let's see some more examples. This example is given in your textbook. Three numbers are given: sixteen, twenty-eight, and forty. Sixteen, twenty-eight, and forty. And we have to find out the LCM of these three numbers. So first of all. We will uh, solve it by vertical arrangement. Sixteen, twenty-eight, forty. So we will uh, check by which number all these numbers are divisible. So all these numbers are divisible by two. So we will write two here. So two eights are sixteen. Two ones are two. Two fours are eight. Then two twos are four. Two zero zero. Then we get eight, fourteen, twenty, which all are divisible by two. So we will write two here. So two fours are eight, two sevens are fourteen, and two tens are twenty. So we get four, seven, and ten. Now we will check by which number all these numbers are divisible. So no such number we can get, but these two numbers that is four and ten. That is four and ten. These both numbers are divisible by two. So we will write two here, because here two numbers, two common numbers are divisible by two. Two numbers are divisible by a common number two. So we will divide it by two, and we get two two is a four. Seven will remain as it is because seven is not divisible by two. Then two five is a ten. So the number on this side is the HCF. That is two into two into two is the HCF of the given number. And if you multiply this HCF by this two into seven into five, we get the LCM. That is the LCM of the given number is this two into two into two into two into seven into five, and that will give five sixty. So five sixty is the LCM of the given numbers. That is sixteen, twenty eight, and forty. Is the uh, Has the LCM five sixty? Hope you have understood. Now, this is the homework for you. We have to factorize the given number two sixty six, eight thirty two, and ninety two are the three given numbers, and you have to just factorize it into primes. Okay, you have to just factorize it.
okay means you have to just write it into the multiplication of the prime numbers the second question is you have to find out the gcd or the hcf of the given numbers that is 18 and 22 64 and 32 the third question is you have to find out the lcm of these three numbers and 15 and 16 okay in the next video we will inshallah see the revision of the fourth unit uh, that is the angles and pairs of angles okay allah hafiz